Uh, we are going on a research cruise on the Royal Research Ship James Cook to uh, South Georgia, where we are monitoring the ecosystem. And this year, of course, we have an unexpected bonus that we have a very large iceberg, A68A, which is um, probably going to ground near South Georgia. So we're taking this opportunity to go to the iceberg so we have two um, robotic uh, gliders. These are small um, submersible vehicles, about a meter and a half long. And um, we will um, deploy them from the ship and then they will be going off on their own for almost four months, measuring as they go. Um, they will measure temperature and salinity, um, so the saltiness of the water and chlorophyll levels, as well as how clear the water is. Well, icebergs are really interesting because they bring lots and lots of fresh water into a marine system, a salty system, and actually relatively warm water for the Southern Ocean. And you have animals and plants that are adapted to those conditions that are going to be faced with an instantaneous change in their environment. And that will stop them from thriving, particularly these plants. They're not going to be adapted to those types of conditions. They might not be able to grow as well. And that means there's no food really as much food available as there would be for the zooplankton and krill, which are then the food for the penguins and seals. And so the whole thing might stop thriving. And that's one of the dangers of an iceberg like this coming into a system. So South Georgia is an amazing biodiversity hotspot. What we find actually is an incredible abundance and diversity of organisms. So abundant and diverse, in fact, that you find more species there than, say, areas like the Galapagos Islands. So if you go to the, the seabed, you find lots and lots of different types of organisms, things like uh, brittle stars and sponges. And then through the water column itself, lots of teeming plankton, particularly copepods and krill. And those are the base of the food web for things like penguins and seals. And even in recovering populations of great whales uh, are starting to come back to South Georgia uh, in really increasing numbers.